And so, for all these reasons, some are turning to anesthesia as a way to avoid it altogether. Typically, you're under anesthesia between six to eight hours, depending on your design, where you'll be closely monitored by the nurses and doctors for the entire length of your procedure. Hmm, just a little quick sleep and voila. Well, not exactly. Let's take a closer look at what anesthesia really is. There's general anesthesia, either inhaled or IV, or a combination of both, where you're fully unconscious and the anesthesia team breathes for you using a ventilator. This is typically used for major procedures. Both inhaled and IV general anesthesia and the adjuncts used work by affecting your body and brain to blunt pain, induce paralysis, and ensure you have no memory of the procedure. It's a wonderful tool. They don't remember what's going on. They wake up, the procedure is done, and they usually say, I didn't have any pain at all. But it's not like a sleep. It's just nothingness. Like, it's like a time jump. You just jump from, you know, before surgery to after surgery. IV anesthesia involves injecting medication straight into your vein, usually in the arm. The most common drugs are things like propofol. These drugs, well, an induction dose or a large dose of anesthetic drugs, travel through your bloodstream to your brain and render you unconscious in less than 30 seconds. Start counting. 20, 19, Normally, the brain's electrical signals are a chaotic chorus as different parts of the brain communicate with each other. That connectivity keeps you awake and aware. 